Yes, guys, my gaming skills are getting so much better because as you can see, I am, nah, nah, I'm just joking, man. I'm not, I'm not getting better. But anyway, this video is all about the brand new gaming PC that's on my desk right there. That is the new Intel Nook 12 Extreme Kit. Now, what I love about this machine right here is how small it is. This is awesomely small. It's only eight liters in terms of size, compact, and it packs in so much power and performance, you will not believe it once I start showing you some of the specs and details. Now, this is running either a Core i7 or Core i9 Intel uh, 12th gen processor, not a laptop, gaming laptop processor that's been in the past with, with previous Nooks. I'm talking about a desktop class processor in this tiny frame. That is impressive. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a closer look. Now, looking at this here, you've got something that has a much longer side, lays of court flat on the table. You can't stand it because at the back you have all your ports. So looking at the front of this device, we have this flat surface metal that basically turns and lights up into a skull, which is very typical with your extreme nooks that you've seen in the past. Right below that, we have a few ports. We have a USB type C port, We've got a USB-A, a full-size SD card slot, and a headphone and mic jack. So that's combined. That's actually pretty cool, nice and convenient. Then at the back, you now have, of course, a ton of ports within this device here. Your power plug is there. You've also got six USB ports, two Type-C ports to the Thunderbolt. Then you also have um, Ethernet 2.5, as well as 10, gig 10 gigabit Ethernet, which is good. Also HDMI 2.0 port, but, I have a dedicated graphics card in here, and that's what's something you can do with the Nooks. You can actually put in your graphics cards. And uh, Intel sent this over with a 3080. Yes, this thing has a lot of performance built in. I love that. So taking off the screws, very simple and very easy to actually open this and check it inside. You open the back panel, the front panel, you lift it up, and then you're greeted with some of the tightest packages I've ever seen in terms of like fitting things in here. You've got a 650 watt power supply. You've got that 3080 there. You can go with any graphics card of your choice, whatever you can find honestly out there. And you now have your uh, Intel Nook. Now, the pricing of the Nook is very interesting. I'll tell you that in a second. You can either buy it with this whole case in here, or you can just buy the Intel Nook itself, which is basically the piece that you slot into the PCIe uh, uh, port. Now, the one thing your Intel Nook can provide you is a suitable webcam, which brings us to the Anchorwork B600 video bar. What's special about this is that it comes with dual speakers, also has four-way microphones to pick up your conversation, and a flip-up light bar that you can adjust the lighting settings so that you can use it in any situation possible uh, for your web conferencing and video needs. Now, I I really like the way this is set up, but let's go ahead and take a quick listen to that microphone and see how well it works. Now here is a sound sample of the Anchor Work B600. I'm in a darker environment, and this gives you a good idea of how well this video bar webcam works in your video conference call and lighting you up quite well using that video bar. And once I turn it off, you can also see the clear difference here. So this is something that's definitely worth picking up, especially in today's day and age where we do a lot of video conferencing. So if you wanna do that, use the link down below and let's go ahead and find out some more about that Intel Nook and some gaming sessions. So I've got a Core i9 processor in here and you can go ahead and also expand your RAM and currently I have 32 gigabytes, I can go up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and I can also expand my storage. I'm adding an extra piece of storage here. I've got the Samsung um, 980 Pro. This is a PCIe uh, Gen 4 uh, SSD and it supports PCIe Gen 4. I love it because it's got 7,000 megabytes per second. I mean, that is some really fast speeds and that will be where I'll be playing all my games off of. And there are a ton of games I'm actually playing here. I played some uh, Call of Duty uh, Warzone. I played some Halo Infinite. I haven't played some Forza Horizon. I played uh, some Tomb Raider. It's tons of games. So a lot of games to showcase what this can actually do. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see what we actually get with the system. Now, performance wise, there's some really great performances you'll find with this device in terms of just the frame rates. Call of Duty, you know, uh, Warzone, 100 to 
118 frames per second. That's really impressive. Again, really tight, small package here. Doom Eternal, that was really impressive. At Ultra Nightmare Gaming, I got about 250 frames per second. Some scenes got up to like 300 frames per second. That's insane. And mind you, I'm playing all of this on 1440p. My ultra wide monitor you see, uh, that's the resolution for it. Um, and then uh, Halo Infinite, we got 91 frames per second at the highest uh, settings for that. Yeah, getting really solid performance all around. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now I ran the benchmarks on there. This is an older game, but it's really good for benchmarking. 153 frames per second on the highest setting. That also was impressive. And Forza Horizon 5, uh, that gave me a range of about 83 to 93 frames per second. So again, really solid performance across the board. Now you're thinking, okay, that's great, but what about the thermals? What kind of temperatures were you getting? While playing Warzone, my GPU was at 63 degrees. That is really cool. I mean, you can see it there, you can actually see it with my benchmarks for uh, uh, Warzone. And that's the game I actually played the longest uh, with this. It ran really cool here because you've got a lot of cool and you've got fans at the very top of the case. Uh, you've also got a lot of air vents around. This thing just allows air all the way in. So you've got really good cooling, but those fans can be a little bit loud. Now, check the decibel meter and we got about 63 uh, in terms of our decibel ratings there. So it's a louder fan. Um, and because of course it's such a tight area. Now I couldn't control it while testing, but there will be a Nook control center that will be launching right at, at launch of this device where you can go ahead and customize and change, of course, the fan speed as well as the lighting. Cause currently right now, if you want to change the lighting for the or you want to turn off the lighting for the case itself, you got to pick it up, flip it upside down, and you see this button right here. You turn that button on and off. Not the best right now, so can't wait for that to actually come through for it. This sounds really good. I like the footprint on my desk. Is this really worth it price-wise in terms of performance? Look, I don't like to look at benchmarks. I have my Cinebench here for you. You guys need to get look look at. It ranks pretty well on Cinebench. I mean, it's really pretty much on the Threadripper and a Xenon processor. So this works out really well for what you wanted to do. So pricing for the Intel Nook unit itself starts at 750 to uh, 1050, Core i7, Core i9. Uh, but if you're gonna go with the whole package here with the um, power supply, the built-in fan, this whole unit that you see, um, you see right here, then you're looking at pricing that starts at 1,150 to 1,450, quite seven, quite nine. The main question is, is it worth it? Like, is it worth it to have a small PC like this? My answer is yes, honestly. I mean, the small footprint, the fact that you can actually go max performance on this and put in um, you know, a 3080 in here and have something that takes up so little space, but you still have all the connectivities and port that you need is absolutely fantastic. Now, I wish Intel would sell a version or at least you can buy a version with the GPU included. So at least you have a nice compact package that you can pick up in the store and take with you. Plus this is really travel sized gaming PC here. I absolutely love this thing and I definitely want you guys to go check it out. So if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.